hey, it's your man Andrew Wood coming back, and we're doing a thrift store find, what I found over the last several days on thrift stores and flea markets. Before I do that, I have to tell you, I buy a lot of toys in lots down at the different thrift stores, sometimes off eBay, and at the flea markets, just large bundles of things. And in that, I get tons of stuff that I don't want, things my son's not going to play with, or you know, I'll put it all down there and he just doesn't like it, doesn't play with them. So I started, you know, accumulating loads of stuff, and you can see from these videos, my son has massive amounts of toys. So I start taking away already the ones he doesn't have any interest in, or things he starts outgrowing, and, you know, he's getting close to four now, so, you know, there's certain toys that are just not uh, of any more appeal to him anymore, and I put a big ad up on Craigslist. I've been selling stuff on eBay, but with the eBay fee, the PayPal fee, and the post office fee, you know, and eBay charges you percent of your shipping, PayPal charges you percent of your shipping. I mean, there's a bunch of blood sucking thieves over there. I was like, man, I'm making everybody else money. I, I don't, I don't like that. So I just put up a, a huge lot of toys, Buzz Lightyears, Woody's, um, Star Wars, all kinds of different stuff. But mo most of it wasn't like, I mean, there were some nice toys in there, but it mostly was, was stuff that. You know, wasn't in, in my estimation really great stuff. Ooh, that's the quality here. Really great stuff. So, you know, I, I, I put the thing up there, and lo and behold, the first person to show up, and I have a whole bunch of uh, hits the next day. Whole bunch of people. Uh, but the first one that shows up, oddly enough, a woman from the flea market that same day, I bought, had bought some stuff from her. She says, man, I could just have, if I knew that was you, I just had you bring the stuff up. And she sent her husband up first. And then I opened the door. I'm talking, hey, come on in. And he looks back to his wife. His wife's getting out. Now she, she sees me, recognizes me. And I'm down there all the time with my son. So, you know, I'm, you know, I guess register like a zero on the threat level. Um, you know, so she, her husband comes in and uh, looks at everything. She's like, man, you know, she's looking at the stuff. Well, well how about if I buy everything? Waiting for that. And that's the one thing I really hadn't thought about. It's someone actually, because it was such a diverse number of toys, dinosaurs. And a lot of it was, you know, a little on the junkie side in terms of, like, like knockoff G.I. Joes, like that, you know. I'll show you, like, stuff like that guy, you know. I mean, to me, I mean, my, my kid's going to play with better stuff than that, you know, bottom line. But that doesn't mean I'm not going to have, you know, 20 of that kind of thing just sitting there or more, you know, little old rubber balls. And, um, you know, like I said, there was some nice stuff, like, like a... Buzz Lightyear that have been like over fifty dollars in there, uh, Mighty Mugs, all just all kinds of different toys, ranging from like high end good stuff to just absolute junk. But I, I sold uh, all of it for sixty bucks, which I which I thought I thought was good. And she's like, oh yeah, you know, if you have some more stuff, you know, bring it by. I'll, I'll buy it up. And re really was nice to be able to have that sort of contact where I'm buying all these lots just a place to get rid of the stuff and it makes my wife happy because we don't end up you know looking like hoarders with with so so much stuff and uh, like I said it, I sold her a load of stuff so it really really helped out in terms of making more room and, and also getting rid of you know more more like younger kid type stuff so we have so much of it um, but uh, I want to show you guys the, the things that we picked up over the last couple days I got this I don't know anything from me or from my wife's yoga mat it was $5.99 uh, this is a, a Ross, so thanks to my collections, and everyone check out my collection channel if you have it. My collections is seven thousand. There's like a Z in there. Uh, this is five ninety nine, fifteen dollars. They charge for yoga mats, so you know, I thought it's pretty good. I've, I've been thinking about doing some yoga, you know, always running and powerlifting for sports, uh, fitness, but I've never been particularly flexible. Although I did martial arts for years, did wrestling for years. Uh, I, I, I mean, one, one, one of my friends does yoga. I've been thinking about trying the, the hot yoga out. Get this Star Wars book for one dollar. This at the flea market. There's no tax on it either. I mean, it's it's pretty. I mean, you can see the inside. It's pretty cool looking. You know, my son is start, really starting to get into Star Wars because I'm pushing on him. It's like, like 250 Star Wars toys or so he better like Star Wars, right? But uh, he, he's he's definitely becoming receptive to all that, and you know, a book like that just. Gets it further along the line. Uh, oh, I got this Toy Story. This is the first time we actually ever had one of these. So it's a smaller one, but it's the little alien guys. We love you, Daddy. Uh, that thing. I got this. An Alexander the Great action figure. Brand new and Pat paid a dollar for it. He has uh, his shield and his helmet. And it looks like... Oh, that's oh, actually quite quite tight. It looks like there's actually... Uh, yeah, there's a sword. It looks like it comes out of the uh, scabbard there. I believe, at least from what I have seen... Uh, I saw a replica of his sword one of my friend's stepfathers had 
when I was actually first getting into a role playing game, so way back in high school, that was a Kopesh, is what he had. So I don't know if he really did use a Kopesh as his typical sword, if that replica was not historically accurate. This sword is not a Kopesh, it looks like a normal broadsword. But for those who don't know, Kopesh have this weird particular sort of shape, particular. Well, it's not the right word, is it? I'm really, really tired right now. Uh, oh, uh, I also also got this. This um, my collection. Let me know if you want that in a trade. It's it's. I thought I totally thought of you when I saw this. It has like two surfboards on the back, and uh, yeah, it's a Hot Wheels like green car with flames on the side. It's pretty tight. The wheels are in good shape. And there's the two surfboards on the back. I never seen anything like that. It's got a little lever down here. There's something. I don't know. Uh, for 50 cent, I got this. This is a GI Joe vehicle. I got a bunch of GI Joe vehicles today, but this one I got from a different table than I got the other ones from. But you can put the guy right in there, and for for it apparently does something with batteries, but the batteries are 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 no longer good. But uh, it's 50 cent right there. I picked up this Iron Man car, and it looks like freaking brand new and. Of course, it opens up. I don't really bother with the stuff that doesn't. So it opens up. You can stick two figures in there. I'm not exactly sure which size figures go in there, but my son has Iron Man's of many different sizes. Also, of course, many different uh, Marvel DC figures. You can see those in the collections video I did for them, although that collection keeps getting bigger. But I think it looks really, really cool. So I paid one dollar. No tax on that. I uh, earlier in the week I picked this up for a dollar ninety-eight. Well, stacks at uh, a thrift store I don't usually go to, and it really kind of sucked because it's the only thing I found there. And uh, one of them was real rude. I was like going through the going through the uh, one of the things. She came and just like making comments to me. So you know me, I'm aggressive. So I just snap back at her. You know, you should, you know, you should come up and and, and run, run her mouth to me. You know, like, you know. But you know, she was quiet after that. But uh, yeah, I mean, just in, in in any kind of retail situation, you're a customer service. Do not be rude to your customers ever. If you have a problem with something, just be nice. Be friendly, handle it. Um, but yeah, it sucked. It was a huge traffic jam to get down there, and this is all we got. I was like, I had to buy something. It's kind of cool. It was a dollar ninety-eight. It came with these two, like these are like two generic GI Joes. They do have articulation, which is good, but these will definitely be sold. Uh, I'm not bothering my kid these. He has like a huge stack of real GI Joes that are quality. However, this is the exact same size. They are the same size as GI Joes. I don't know what that is, three inches, three, three and a quarter inches, whatever. Um, and it's this tank. So this is cool enough here. I didn't notice one of the machine guns that was missing at the time. So my son kept grabbing this from me. Uh, I did notice, though, it does this. It was quite... And it, had, it was, like, all taped up, so it was kind of hard to see. This uh, opens up, so you can see the guys in there. But what's really cool about it, it takes batteries, too. It has... But they're, they're, they're dead. Uh, this whole thing opens up. And that can that can go up or down, plus it's like that, and, and it rolls too. So, you know, for for two dollars, it's basically a GI Joe accessory or a GI Joe vehicle, I should say. So uh, I thought I thought that's pretty decent. Um, oh, I probably see that one. Before. The end. Got uh, this another GI Joe vehicle. This is a GI Joe Tonka vehicle. I, I had to check if it's a Tonka. That's not right for JoJo. Uh, it looks like it's out of batteries too. This should probably light up. But uh, this seriously needs to be washed. But you know, getting dirt off something is not really a big problem. And uh, I don't know if you guys can really tell from the size of my hand. This is quite large. Uh, it seats two JoJo's right in the middle there. You can stick them right, right in the sides there. You can stick them in there. Uh, a little trailer hitch. And yeah, I mean that's... For for one dollar in a tax, that, that that's a good pickup. GI Joe vehicles are quite quite expensive. These definitely could be played different size. Yeah, this GI Joe vehicle here for fifty cents. It's got the the missile here. It's got the gun back here that moves. Uh, looks like something else should go up here. But I got a ton of little little extra GI Joe parts. I mean, a ton of little extra GI Joe parts. So I might even have some more of the. It's got the front grill here, and it can seat two two men. It has foot pegs for two more. Um, it's got a little accessory here that you can pull out as well. So, I mean, the, the wheels, the wheels work fine. It'll roll. So for fifty cent, that's a 
good deal, I think. Um, oh, I got this, I believe is a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle motorcycle. 50 cents. I got, uh, oh, there's another one of these that came off of that. I should have drawn And I got, look, my collection of it if you want. Yeah, this. I have this Spider-Man car. It's got like Spider-Man on it, and the, the hands will go like up and down. The head will move around, and of course, it, it rolls just fine. And then I got the Captain America one, which was just like it. Both of those. Hmm. Oh, I knew it. Knew I got some other stuff here. I got. Uh, this uh, Nightwing and this Robin. We didn't have either that Nightwing or that Robin. So, and then I got this Joker. This is a really big one. We have the the normal size one like this. Uh, eight, nine. This is ten, maybe even a foot. This might even be a foot tall. Uh, it's just a little dirty. A little bit of marks here on the back, but it was a dollar. No tax. I mean, a dollar for this. That's like really good. It actually has. Uh, a little bit of articulation here, the head moves, the face moves, but yeah, anyway, you know, so, when I find something else, that's a dollar. So, uh, those, when I just showed you the, uh, the G.I. Joe vehicles I just showed you and the Joker, I, I got off that, the same one that came by my house later that day, so that's kind of a, a weird deal. Sorry, I here really well here. Oh, and closing it out, I a dollar twenty-five for this down at Goodwill. He's missing some kind of accessory that goes here. But he does have his uh, utility belt on. Uh, he, he moves. This guy is a foot and a half tall, I guess. And he's, the he's got some good joint movement here. Little, uh, his cape on the back is in pretty decent shape. It's not all just, you know, ripped up or full of hair or anything like that. So, yeah, that that's, was our thrift store haul and flea market finds. So, thanks for watching.